We use the symbol Sn for the sum of the first n terms of a finite sequence. Sn is equal to term 1 plus term 2 plus term 3 plus the rest of the terms up to and including term n. When we sum a finite number of terms, we get a finite series. If we sum infinitely many terms of a sequence, we get an infinite series. We write this sum as S subscript infinity. S to infinity is equal to term 1 plus term 2 plus term 3 and so on. When we find the sum of an infinite number of terms, the answer to that sum can be infinite or in some cases it can converge or, in other words, get closer to a finite real number. Convergence and Divergence If the sum of a series gets closer and closer to a certain value as we increase the number of terms in the sum, we say that the series converges. In other words, there is a limit to the sum of a converging series. If a series does not converge, we say that it diverges. For an arithmetic series, the sum to infinity will never converge. As n tends to infinity, the series will always tend to positive or negative infinity. We say the arithmetic series diverges. Some geometric series converge and some diverge. You can easily determine whether a geometric series converges or diverges by examining the value of r. If r lies between negative 1 and 1, then the infinite series will converge. If r lies outside this interval, then the infinite series will diverge. Can you see in the first graph where the geometric series has a ratio of a half, which is smaller than 1, that the terms of the series are converging to 2? So the geometric series, 1 plus a half plus a quarter, converges to 2, and we say that the sum of the series is 2. In the second graph, the terms of a divergent geometric series are plotted. The ratio of this geometric series is 2, which is larger than 1. In this case, the terms continue to increase in size and the infinite series diverges and we cannot calculate the sum of the series as a finite real number. Test for convergence. If r lies between negative 1 and 1, then the infinite geometric series converges. If r is less than negative 1 or r is greater than 1, then the infinite geometric series diverges. It can be shown that the sum to infinity is equal to a divided by 1 minus r if r lies between negative 1 and 1. We see this because as n tends to infinity, r to the power of n tends to 0, and so the second term in the expression for Sn also tends to 0, leaving only the first term a divided by 1 minus r. Try this on your calculator. Enter a fraction, for example, 2 over 3. Then raise it to the power of 10, then 100, then 1000, then 10,000. What do you notice? As n increases, r to the power of n approaches 0. Find the sum to infinity for the sequence. 8, 16 thirds, 32 ninths, 64 twenty-sevenths, and so on. Solution. We must start our solution by determining the value of r. r is equal to 16 thirds divided by 8, which equals 2 thirds. 2 thirds lies between negative 1 and 1, or 2 thirds is greater than negative 1 and less than 1. Therefore, the series converges. The sum to infinity is equal to a divided by 1 minus r. The sum to infinity is equal to 8 divided by 1 minus 2 thirds, which you can easily equate to 24 using your calculator if necessary. 
Example 2. Determine r in a given sum to infinity. Determine r if the sum of all terms from 1 to infinity of 2 times r to the power of n minus 1 is equal to 12. Solution. Since the sum of this infinite geometric sequence has a finite real number value, we know that r must lie between negative 1 and 1. The sum to infinity is equal to a divided by 1 minus r. Using the general term, we calculate the first term a as 2 times r to the power of 1 minus 1, which is equal to 2. The sum to infinity is 12. Therefore, equating the two sides and solving for r, we get 12 equals 2 over 1 minus r. 12 into 1 minus r is equal to 2. 12 minus 12r is equal to 2. Negative 12r is equal to negative 10. Therefore, r is equal to 5 sixths, which is a number between negative 1 and 1. Example, application of the sum to infinity. A tree of the height 110 centimetres is planted. At the end of the first year, the tree is 120 centimetres tall. Thereafter, the growth of the tree each year is half of its growth in the previous year. Show that the height of the tree will never exceed 130 centimetres. Solution, the growth after one year 10 centimetres, the growth after year 2, 5 centimetres, the growth after year 3, 2,5 centimetres, and so on. The series representing the collective growth is 10 plus 5 plus 2,5 and so on. R is equal to 5 tenths, which is equal to a half. Since R lies between negative 1 and 1, we know this geometric series converges to some limit. To find the maximum height, we need to find the sum to infinity of the infinite geometric series with a equal to 10 and r equal to a half. The sum to infinity is equal to a divided by 1 minus r. Substituting into the formula, the sum to infinity is equal to 10 divided by 1 minus a half, which equals 20 centimetres, so the maximum growth is 20 centimetres. Added to the original height of 110 centimetres, it gives us the maximum height of 130 centimetres as required.